sketch the graph of each of the following showing one complete cycle state the amplitude and the period so let me write the general formula of a sine or a cosine graph so general formula uh, where there is no phase shift okay so the general formula so let's write y is equal to it is a sine bx is the general formula it can be theta or x okay where x is a variable or it can also be theta or it can be suppose cos say a cos bx so what is a and b a and b are numbers so a tells you the amplitude a tells you the amplitude so we're only focusing on two things amplitude and b from b you can tell the period so the period if you want to find the period is 2 pi divided by b I'll explain that in a different way if you, for people who rem like to remember formula this is a good formula period is always 2 pi divided by b or it is also 360 divided by b so let's take an example to start with okay so the question is say y is equal to 3 sine 2x 3 sine 2x so from this I can directly say the amplitude is 3 okay and the period is always 360 I like to draw in degrees so that is 360 divided by the coefficient of x so 360 divided by b b is 2 so the period is 180 so one full cycle is 180 degree so if you want to draw this so let me draw get a line tool does it have a line tool no it doesn't so let me use my simple so let me use say the green uh, the green color okay so let's say this is your y-axis and this is the x-axis and this is the maximum so this is the maximum and this is the minimum is not drawn to scale so the amplitude and this is the baseline so the baseline is zero yeah okay and so maximum is three and minimum is negative three and you got a period of 180 so this is stuck sign starts at 0 1 2 3 4 so this is 180 degree and say so half of 180 is 90 and the half of 90 is 45 degree and half of again so this is 45 90 plus 45 is 135 degree so this is one cycle so let me use a different color so sine starts at baseline sine always starts at baseline it hits the maximum comes back to the baseline this is again minimum and comes back to the baseline so this is one cycle so sine the sine graph goes like this okay so the maximum is at 45 comma 3 so let's check this on the calculator the maximum is at 45 the maximum is 4 comma 45 comma 45 degrees comma 3 and this is uh, 135 comma minus 3 negative 3 okay so let's confirm this on the calculator so this is how you do it go to graph and type in 3 sine bracket 2x now you need to adjust the scale according to the need so press shift F3 I want to go from 0 to say 180 okay I want one full cycle and the scale is 45 just for you to understand why I drew 45 because this is going up in 45s so 0 45 130 so and I want this 
execute by maximum let's put uh, go for up to phi minimum is negative phi and scale of one is fine and then you draw okay so what did I put three sign okay I probably uh, like the scale y scale is not proper it should be minus phi to plus phi okay so this is a sine graph and to confirm these points you go g sol maximum so at 45 3 you've got the maximum and g sol minimum is your minimum so your graph is right okay let's look at one more question say y say y let's draw a cos graph y is equal to say minus 3 minus 3 cos uh, theta by 2 so theta is uh, your variable so what's the amplitude here so the amplitude is 3 I'll tell you why it's not minus 3 the amplitude is 3 the baseline is 0 the baseline is 0 so maximum this is a good way of writing all the feature main elements of the graph so maximum is going to be plus 3 minimum is going to be minus 3 so base amplitude is a distance from the baseline to the maximum or minimum okay so now the period what is the period the period is 360 divided by the coefficient of the variable so that is 360 divided by half because this equation can be written as y is equal to minus 3 cos half times theta. So half of theta. And that's why I divide by half. So 360 divided by half is 720 degree. Okay, so how to draw the graph? It's a cos graph, but it's a negative cos graph. So I want you to think how would you draw a negative cos graph? A cos graph starts at maximum. Okay, and comes back to maximum so again this is not drawn to scale so let me draw a better line so this is this is plus 3 which is maximum this is baseline this is 3 this is 0 and this is minus 3 so if you know course graph starts at maximum minus cos graph should start where so you got a period of 720 so I'll draw four quadrants so this is how I don't need to remember any three. First is one cycle is 720 degree so half of 720 is 360 degree and half of 360 is 180 so we are going up in a step of 180 degree so 180 plus 180 is 360 plus 180 is 540 am I right yeah 540 degrees so this is negative 3 so tell me if it's a negative cos graph cos graph starts at maximum okay so negative cos graph starts at minimum just the opposite of that so so starts at negative 3 hits the baseline maximum comes back to the baseline and comes back to the minima. So if you want to draw the graph, the cos graph would look somewhat like this. And we'll confirm this on the calculator. Okay, so the maximum should be at 360 comma 3. And the minimum should be at suppose also you can confirm this point at this point 540 comma 0 and at minimum there should be 720 comma 0 so the scale sh x scale should be between 0 to 720 at a step of 180 your y should be from 3 to minus 3 so let's delete the graph first change the x change the scale I'll go from 0 to sorry so the I should go from 0 to 720 at a scale of 180 degree and Y scale is okay and now I'll write the 
equation minus 3 cos bracket it is 0 0.5 x so I same as 0 0.5 x or x divided by 2 would give you the same graph here we go so this is the graph so you go G sol minima now G sol draw it so maxima at 363 so you can also check what's the y value when x is 540 it should be 0 okay and G sol minimum not found because the scale is not proper so let's make the scale let's go up to 800 and then it will give you this so this is the minimum so G sol minimum at 720 you have got the minimum 